Thanks again, Nico. With my arm in a sling, I can't really carry anything for a couple of weeks. No, no problem. <laughs> you know, you never told me what happened to your elbow. I didn't? No, every time I asked, you said that you wrestled a bear and lost. <laughs> I do say that, don't I? Well, the truth is, I was running and I fell. Well, that's bad, but I can't think of anything worse than wrestling a bear. Well, bears can be scary, but as we'll learn later today, our hero faced something even scarier. Even scarier than bears? That's right. In some countries where these girls live, they're in great danger every day, and it's not bears they're scared of. What is it? We'll get to that soon, I promise. But first... Adeline? It's time for today. I'll think I'd rather wrestle a bear. Pop quiz! Maybe if I play dead, the pop quiz would leave me alone. <laughs> Nico, it's not that bad. I'm sure you'll know the answer. Shh, the pop quiz will hear you. Today, we have a two-part question. Where did the students in Brazil live, and how did they get to school? Oh, I know this one. See, I told you it wouldn't be so bad. I don't really like test. It looks like we're getting a call from Arya. Hello, can you tell us the answer? Definitely, these kids were so cool. They live in the Amazon rainforest and ride boats to go to school. Correct! Remember how early they get up just to get to class? And the crack of dawn. I can't believe how devoted they are to school. Yeah, they sure are. Most kids around here don't realize how lucky they are to have schools to attend. It's true. In chapter one, Rafif didn't always go to school because she felt different. Yes, and in chapter two, some kids couldn't even go to school because they live in a big rainforest. What is the story in chapter three? It's about girls in Thailand who can't always go to school because there is no one to support them. Oh, that's really sad. What do they do? We're about to find out. Turn the page, Nico. The world can be a scary place for girls who are alone. Grandfather and grandmother love me, but they say they cannot take care of me. They say because I am an orphan, I am not safe. They say some people might come in the night to take me away forever. But I know there is a good home for me. They will have warm food and clean clothes. They will have games and books and songs. I will even get to go to school. You're right, Adeline. That is scarier than bears. I know. Can you imagine if a stranger came in the middle of the night and took you away? I'm just thankful I have my parents to protect me. Me too. But not everyone is as blessed as we are. It's a good thing that she has a new, compassionate family to keep her safe. Definitely. And she can finally go to school now. I'm really beginning to realize on how lucky I am to go to school. I agree. Let's see what our viewers at home have to say about this. It's time for... What, what do, do you, you think? think? We're getting a call from Ethan. Hi there, can you tell us what you think? It's great, they get a safe place to live and a chance to go to school. It makes me appreciate what I have. Great thought, Ethan. I don't act like it all the time, but I know that school is really important. It sure is, and every kid should get the opportunity that we have. I've never said this before, but I'm really happy that I get to learn in school. Well, buckle up, because we're about to do some learning right now. It's time for... Bible Blast! Our goal this week is to memorize Psalms 
I've been practicing this verse in my free time. Me too. Let's see where we are today. We'll give you viewers at home 10 seconds to think about this verse. Can you remember the missing words? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Great job, Nico. And great job to all of you viewers at home. Keep practicing it and soon you'll have the whole thing down. All right, I'm just gonna slink off before you make any startling announcements. But who's gonna help me carry all my stuff home? That's true. It won't be really compassionate of me if I leave you alone. I'll guess you'll just have to see it through to the end. You're not going to make any startling announcements, are you? Oh, like the fact that there will be a pop quiz tomorrow? Ha! Like that! Wait a minute! No! <laughs> it's not really a startling announcement. I say it at the same time every day. I know, I know. I'm just not ready for it emotionally. Mmm. I'm ready, I'm ready. Thanks for your help, Nico. And thank you to all you viewers at home for joining us for this special adventure. See you all tomorrow.